Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. <laughs> Immaculate Mother, to you to be paid, to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, a heart that is totally united to Jesus, her Son. Let us pray in this Mass that we may have a heart like the heart of Mary, a clean, pure, and immaculate heart. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us be sorry for all our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Let us pray. Lord our God, you made the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary the home of your eternal Word and the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Give us a heart that is free from sin and attentive to your will, that faithful to your commandments, we may love you above all things and seek to help others in their need. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Judith. All the people were greatly astonished. They bowed down and worshipped God, saying with one accord, Blessed are you, our God, who today have brought to naught the enemies of your people. Then Uzziah said to her, Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth, who guided your blow at the head of the chief of our enemies. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. May God make this redound to your everlasting honor, rewarding you with blessings because you risk your life when your people were being oppressed and you averted our disaster, walking uprightly before our God. And all the people answered, Amen, Amen. When they had visited her, all with one accord blessed her, saying, You are the glory of Jerusalem, the surpassing joy of Israel. You are the splendid boast of our people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty has done great things for me. The Almighty has done great things for me. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. The Almighty has done great things for me. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is His name. The Almighty has done great things for me. The Lord's mercy is from age to age to those who fear Him. He has shown might with His arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. The Almighty has done great things for me. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. The Almighty has done great things for me. The Lord has helped Israel his servant, remembering his mercy according to his promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The Almighty has done great things for me. Please stand. Alleluia. Hallelujah. 
Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After three days, Jesus' parents found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And Jesus said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But his parents did not understand what he said to them. Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the heart of a mother cannot be separated from the heart of her son. That is why, as we celebrated yesterday, the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, it is fitting that today we celebrate the feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. If the heart of Jesus is sacred, the heart of Mary is immaculate. Kung ang puso ni Jesus ay kabanal-banalan, ang puso ni Maria ay kalinis-linisan. Mary's heart is pure. Mary's heart is spotless. Mary's heart is clean. The heart of Mary is immaculate. And why is Mary's heart immaculate? Why is Mary's heart clean? Mary's heart is immaculate for the simple reason that her heart contains only Jesus. Mary's heart is clean because her heart is focused totally in Jesus. Our gospel today is the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of Jesus in the temple of Jerusalem. And at the last line of the gospel, there was a mention about the heart of Mary. His mother kept all these things in her heart. In the life of Mary, there were many things that she did not totally understand. But even though Mary did not understand everything that God asked her to do, what Mary's mind could not fully understand, she keeps as a treasure in her heart. Yung mga bagay na hindi maunawaan ng isip ni Maria, Iniingatan niya sa kanyang puso ng may paniniwala 
pananampalataya at pagtitiwala sa Diyos. That makes her heart pure, clean, and immaculate. And because the heart of Mary is so clean because of Jesus, Mary is rightfully honored as we heard in our first reading today as the glory of Jerusalem, the surpassing joy of Israel, the splendid boast of the people. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, let us pray that like Mary's heart, our hearts may also be immaculate. That our hearts may also be clean. That our hearts may also be pure. We need people with clean hearts. Sa panahon natin ngayon, at sa lipunan natin ngayon, kailangan-kailangan natin ng mga taong may malinis na puso. And what does it mean to have a clean heart? People with clean hearts are sincere in their intentions and right in their actions. Malinis na puso, malinis din ang hangarin. Walang masamang binabalak sa kapwa. Walang ginagawa ng patalikod. They have sincere intentions. They have pure intentions for others. At kung malinis ang puso, malinis ang hangarin, dapat malinis din ang pagkilos. Kasi baka malinis yung hangarin, pero madumi ang pagkilos. O baka naman mali, madumi, mal, madumi ang hangarin, pero pwedeng malinis ang pagkilos. Kung malinis ang puso, ang hangarin at ang ginagawa, malinis din. People with clean hearts are people who always see what is good. Malinis na puso, Malinis din ang pananaw. People with clean hearts would always see what is good in people and in situations. They will not see anything evil. They will not look for anything evil in other people. Ang malinis na puso ay pusong nakakakita ng kabutihan sa kapwa at sa kapaligiran, hindi kasamaan, hindi naghahanap ng butas o ikapipintas ng kapwa, hindi naghihintay na magkamali ang kapwa para may maisumbat sa kanila. Kung malinis ang puso, malinis din ang pananaw, nakikita ang kabutihan sa kapaligiran. People with clean hearts are truthful and honest. Malinis ang puso, tapat, makatotohanan. They will not lie. They will not deceive others. They will not cheat. Ang malinis na puso, hindi man daraya, hindi man luloko, hindi nang lalamang ng kapwa, malinis pati ang kanilang pananalita. People with clean hearts speak decent, rightful, and truthful words. In another part of the gospel, Jesus said, From the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Kung ano daw ang bukang bibig, siyang laman ng dibdib. Kung madumi ang lumalabas sa bibig, 
madumi rin ang puso. Pero kung malinis ang puso, malinis ang lumalabas sa bibig. People with clean hearts live clean lives. Malinis ang puso, malinis din ang pamumuhay. Matuwid ang pamumuhay. Malinis na puso, katulad ng puso ni Maria, dahil ang laman ng puso ay si Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us check our hearts. Is your heart clean? Malinis ba ang puso mo? How beautiful our world be if each one of us will have a heart like the heart of Mary, clean, sincere, pure, spotless, and immaculate. Please all stand. Let us pray to God our Father that following the example of Mary, we may always seek and do His will. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may practice the humility of Mary in willingness to serve God and men. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christ may find a welcome abode in the hearts of people, as He found a well-prepared dwelling place in Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The true spirit of prayer may deeply penetrate the hearts of people, that they may hear the cry of the poor, as it permeated the whole being of Mary's Immaculate Heart, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may find healing and consolation through the powerful intercession of Mary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dying may look up to Mary as their source of strength and comfort, as she stood by the cross of her son, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Lord and Master, cleanse our hearts that we may receive Christ, your only Son, in the spirit of Mary's faith and obedience. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. soul stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, 
for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, look with favor on the gifts we bring as we celebrate this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Grant that as we follow her example, we may faithfully cherish and continually ponder the riches of grace that we owe to your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you gave the Blessed Virgin Mary a wise and obedient heart, that she might perfectly carry out your will, a new and gentle heart in which you were pleased and on which you inscribe the law of the new covenant. You gave her an undivided and pure heart that she might be worthy to be the virgin mother of your son and to rejoice to see you forever. You gave her a steadfast and watchful heart so that she could endure without fear the sword of sorrow and await in faith the resurrection of her son. With the whole company of angels, we sing your praises in their canticle of joy. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sang di bang matatag sa puso. 
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ipinaglihim 